so this backyard is your typical scenario of a pool that just doesn't get used anymore. <laughs> what happens is it's filled up with sediment, debris, the liner is tore, and it's time for a complete backyard renovation. in here we're gonna remove this swimming pool we're gonna remove all of this deck so we also want to get the liner successfully pulled out Sometimes you have to crawl into the liner and cut it into two, three, four pieces and remove it by hand. That's not unusual. It doesn't matter how you do it, you just got to get it all to come out. If that liner shreds, so you can see there's muck on the bottom. That's mud. It's been sitting for years now. Um, if that liner shreds underneath that muck, you go fishing crawl down in there and you pull all that plastic out. doing it for the homeowner. We're doing it to get this property ready to be put on the market so the next people that come in here have a fresh idea of what they can do and use this backyard for. Well, we can't seem to get a break from the rain all season long. It just pours on us every two or three days. So this is, uh, we've got, we're one, uh, maybe this is two days into this site one or two, I don't remember which. Uh, the pool liner, you can see that's pulled out. All the timbers from the decking material are out. We're starting to bring soil in. You can see where they've got the excavator down on the bottom, so that obviously has to be compacted already. At that elevation, the concrete that you see laying right down there, that's getting yanked and set into the pile over here to be hauled out. Um, We've got another load of timbers over here. So we've got quite a few loads of debris that have to come out on this site. And then we can start importing in. So a lot of times what we do when we're prepping a house to sell, we're gonna remove it and prep it and get it set so that the next people come in here have a flat backyard. They can put their, they can implement their own ideas and they can just visualize what, how they would use it and what they're gonna do with their yard. Wrapping this job up in St. Anthony. Getting the final touches done on the finished grade. This is the subgrade that he's working on right here. And the black dirt is along the fence line going in. That will be laid and incorporated into this subgrade. 
looks like we replanted the pine tree for them, for the customer. You remember there's a pine tree sitting right in the middle there. Finishing touches. Blaine's hitting it up. So although we've machine finished graded it, we like to touch it with a rake. That keeps the black dirt fluffy. So what you see him doing right there is we're not driving over the top of the black dirt. We're keeping it loose so the, the grass can actually take whether it's sod or whether it's seed. This allows the customer to, to actually reestablish their vegetation. See, if we left it at a machine finished grade where it was very smooth and compacted, it would be almost impossible to get anything to grow. So this is a typical machine finished grade. We pulled out all of the, uh, I don't even like walking on it, but in case for this video, I am going to walk on it. Drew's probably gonna have a hissy fit at me, but. You can see that there's not a foot track, not much, any foot tracks in here. And so this is what the, what the machine finish grade compared to where the subgrade was set just a few minutes ago. So you're going to see the process, we're going to take you through it, and you're going to see the end result. <laughs> 